welcome. Today I thought I would um, speak one of my blog posts that I wrote. I, I posted it on the 9th of January this year and it is entitled 2021 and beyond. Um, so it's a kind of like a big picture of where we are and where we are going. If you want to read the blog post, you can find it on my website, juliejules.co.uk. Hope you enjoy it. Beam me up, Scotty. No, I giggled as I wrote that. And why? Because believe me, it was my mantra of past whilst in the trenches. In truth, it points to resistance of what is. A state that many are in right now, the world seems to be in turmoil, fear is high, panic is running riot and a humanity that is totally fed up and frustrated with the fast paced confusion and illusion playing out in this world. Getting beamed up doesn't sound like a bad idea does it? Bottom line, we are evolving but let me first give some context to that. In simple terms, it's the opposite of devolving. And that is something we have been doing for thousands of years, degrading and evolving. Now we are reversing that. The old has to go to allow the new in. Ask yourself, who created the outer world as we see it? The material and the physical we see with our eyes. We did. How did we create it? With action. What drove our actions over the past thousands of years? Our beliefs. Where did our beliefs come from? They were passed down through the ages. We have advanced our minds through the ages and in the process we have become energy poor. We have been running on an artificial intelligence that's been working backwards. More disconnected from self, from each other, our planet, our solar system and from the universe at large. Running on empty, pillaging, destroying, harming inflicting, grasping, accumulating, clinging, controlling and polluting. It is us and our machine minds that have polluted and corrupted the outer world as we see it, our collective consciousness. There is nothing that is not energy. Everything becomes manifest from energy. A thought form is energy. An emotion is energy. E-motion, energy in motion. We have been lost, limited and delusional in our mind energy. The brain is a receiver, so where have we been sourcing our content from? Where have you sourced your content from? Who are you? Are you a collection of pass me downs? Or do you know your real self? 2021 and beyond are the very years that will nudge, sometimes force all to ask themselves that very question. This is the evolution, humanity awakening from its deep slumber. Consciousness is expanding. We are in it. It is happening right now. 2021 and beyond are the years that all will come to know their real self. 2021 and beyond are the years that will break open your psyche and take you into those trenches where you will meet yourself and the truth of your existence. How do I know? Because I, along with millions of others right now on this planet, have been through that very process. Been through the absolute annihilation of our inverted and false self. The self we desperately clung to, we believed in. The self we invested our whole life in. And so we painfully grieved our loss in dark trenches, calling out to be beamed up. There are 7.7 .7 billion perceptions on this planet. And in the main, we have just passed around, recycled and rehashed the same old mind. All of us swimming in a collective soup. It's why you were born. It's been the easiest place in the whole universe to lose yourself in, to become forgetful in. That's also one of the infinite discoveries you'll make within yourself. You'll uncover the reason you were born. You'll know why you chose forgetfulness in order to remember yourself. You'll uncover your rhyme and your reason, your rhythm and your dance. And it matters not where you are on your journey. For all paths lead home. Know that even in deep forgetfulness, your real self is always in the driving seat, 
something that is not, which illusions you are cycling through because you are always moving. Everything is always in motion. You are always moving forward. You are always evolving. Trust yourself more, for in truth, there is no one on this planet that isn't already enlightened. So also in that truth, I can't teach you anything. I can't show you the way, or even tell you which path to take. My only advice I have for you right now is to turn your focus inwards. Face the storms within yourself. Pay no attention to the drama of others, to the theories of others. Place no one above you in wisdom or power. And when your mind intervenes and says, but I have to take action, I need to busy myself, surviving, defending, providing for, and sorting a collapsing outer life and world. Know that when you arrive at being and how to be, then you will know what to do. With love, Julie.